We're in Portland, Oregon. It's a beautiful day in January. I can't believe it. Actually, it's been really rainy for like 12 days. Well, we're, we're right. There's puddles everywhere. <laughs> we left snowy Utah. It's actually like comfortable here. Anyways, we're at White Plate Imports. Today's the day I get to pick up the JZX100. We're gonna put a few fancy, fancy parts on it, make it rolling, and uh, start the project. It's hard for me to describe how excited I am. I was telling some, one of my friends, I only get excited about cars like once every 10 years, because I don't really get emotionally attached to my cars, but I got this emotional attachment. So thanks, Trenton, for selling me my dream car. I'm so attached to this car, too. This is the second time I've come up here to pick up a car. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. On a lift. I come and pick up a car. That's all, I only get cars that are on the lift that don't no, roll. No, no. Listen, listen. The last car was ready to go, but we wanted to modify it to your likings. Fair enough. No, we put, it, we put a clutch in it. You had a standard. And what? You had a standard. True. Had to have the wheel. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this car's not leaving here without wheels and coilovers. <laughs> yeah, it's good. So I'm excited. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get started. We've got like... Uh, well, I don't know. I'm not going to go through everything. I'll show you as we're going through the build, but we're going to put parts on it and hopefully get it rolling out of here in five hours. Five hours. It's really not that much Enough work. Enough to watch the Blazer game tonight. <laughs> There's some cool stuff around here. We got a, uh, what's this thing? This isn't a JZX. It must be Oscar's custom. Oscar's custom. <laughs> There's Oscar's car. There's Trenton's car. Uh, there's some cool stuff, cool stuff here. It's always a pleasure coming up and uh, seeing what they've got on the lot. All right, here's what we got going on. We're gonna install the gecko coilovers on this car. Uh, we got some eBay upper arms there. No, they're not. They're Cusco. Okay. <laughs> they look like they got overspray on them. I didn't plan on using them. Is that like when you got overspray on your windshield and your roof and your... No, I didn't get overspray on anything else. Listen, it was a whole... That was dump. when you painted the engine bay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And then you painted the car after that. Yeah. Well, I didn't expect it to go on that. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got LS400 brakes. Um, the car's pretty complete. Oh, and then we got to put rear knuckles on and then we're going to do the excessive rear arm kit. Pretty much everything I got for this car <laughs> I sourced through Trenton. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to do here, and so he told me where to get all the stuff that we need. Um, so just like I was showing you guys in the other video, I don't know if I'll have posted it by this point, but um, the GX the GX chassis comes without the diff brakes here. Even the NA Supras don't have this uh, extra diff mount. So this one was uh, this one was welded solid, which I actually prefer to having bushings. So we're gonna punch this bushing out and put a solid one in there, and then that'll give us a, a good diff mounting point. Um, Trenton was telling me these subframes are kind of weak, so we'll probably end up pulling the subframe back out when we get back to the shop and then brace it. Um, some different bracing points. Actually, I'm going to show that other car so I remember where the braces are. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where exactly you want to brace these subframes because, you know, I don't know where the weaknesses are exactly. And this car's up on the lift. This is a 90, but it's got braces right here, tying that together, going back to that part of the subframe. Um, what else have we got? We got a little brace right in that corner. Uh, there's a brace for the back there. Same thing over there. That looks like about it. Uh, the cool thing is uh, a 90 and a 100 chassis are like almost like exactly the same when it comes to that. Are they the same length? Really? That's wild. So like, I know all the suspension parts are interchangeable, but I guess even the chassis itself is like really similar. That's cool. Oh, the engine bay's already painted, kind of. Did you do that or was that JDM? That was JDM. Um, the biggest problem we have so far with this car is that there's no bracket for the sway bar on this side. Ooh, you know what? I don't know. I had the bash bar built. Do you have it? Did you, you didn't crash this car, it's not crashed. Oh, it's crashed, it's totaled. It's not totaled. It's nudged. <laughs> it's nudged. It's nudged. Okay, there's a big difference. <laughs> so I knew I needed it. This is a lot of problems. What are you doing, Brandon? What? what are you doing? So, what we got here. Okay, so, hold on, hold on. What we've got here, Gecko coilovers, tried and tested true on the 90. They fit right on the 100. You can save 15% more by switching your car insurance to Gecko. <laughs> the 
Nope. the new drift spec, right? <laughs> I think I can get GS300 outer tie rods. And they're like an inch or two longer. So, uh, I just have them. I think you're gonna need those tie rods. Okay, so there's your heat and AC. I'm 99% sure this is right. That's from a 90. Oh, and okay. I'm, I'm like pretty sure they're exactly the same. Because then I remembered I gave Adam the one out of the hundred. So he wanted it for his car to do drift week. So yeah, front bumper, rear busted bumper, and then this right here is the bumper I bought. Oh, okay. There's your Stancy Boy one. I wouldn't even worry about taking that one. This doesn't have an exhaust cut out. No. What? <laughs> it's not that low. Where's the other side of this? It's broken. Where did it go? You left it at the track? No, it was uh, on the tow truck. And, oh, and it flew off. And the guy showed up, and I'm like, what happened to the bumper? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Nice. So, yeah. Yes, we go. I'm going to buy this lead mount here for now and stick it on the back later. Yeah, but I like it. Look at it. It's yeah. in good shape. It's monkey magic. What does that mean? Really? The Noma Kent's company. Oh, yeah. Same with that rear bumper, but you know what? You get one piece of the puzzle. Trip! Uh. Dang! Look at that! That's oh. got three laps on it for Brandon! <laughs> Yo, I've actually got a mismatched pair. What's this? Yeah, dude, I need to take some tires home. What do you got? Can I take this one? Hold on, I gotta cheap now. I gotta start using my yeah, my spares. He can't be real. No, he's real. Uh, what? <laughs> what? This is good tires. Tires. I'm pulling your tread life on it. No, we're not getting those that? tires anymore. Can the can the twenty eight? Oh my God. <laughs> You want the heater All right. Yeah, we're gonna get that. Here's later. what I don't understand. Did you have the car painted here? No. So how did you get these fenders and those fenders both painted? What do you mean, paint master? Really? Yeah. It's kind of similar. All right. This is what came on the car. Yeah. And okay. Towards the end of the day, and we're, we're finally down. putting this thing down. How long has it been since this car's been on the ground? Uh, Ten seconds. Oh, you mean in the air? No, no, no. How long, is, how long has it been since this car has been on four wheels sitting on the ground? Uh, actually, okay, no, like, oh, probably, yeah. oh, over the summer, uh, probably four or five months ago. Oh, it's not No, it's been nine months. Nine months? Yeah. Bro, that camber. Yeah. Oh, this is... Dang. We got no rear upper arms, so as we're pushing <laughs> it, they're going to flop. <laughs> Definitely going to flop out. We're gonna do this and then the front, we didn't get quite the right adjustment on the on the uh, tie rods, Sweet so uh, we're towed in a little bit. But the good news is it's, it's ready to go on a trailer. All right, so we made it back to uh, made it back to the shop with the car undamaged. Um, it's pretty dirty, but uh, I just wanted to talk about it for a second. Um, got most of the parts inside. It's missing a back seat. So I'm kind of undecided whether I'm gonna chase down a back seat. I found one in Russia for 400 bucks shipped, um, and then carpet for 300 bucks shipped. And I'm trying to decide if it's worth that for me to keep a back seat in this car. It probably is, but still, just something I'm uh, thinking about. Um, my immediate plans for this thing are to uh, get the rear subframe fixed. Um, not fixed, but I mean, I need parts for the rear subframe. 
uh, arms. I'm gonna get it powder coated, powder coat the front subframe, a couple things like that, and uh, just start the process of the build. Paint the engine bay, paint the car, mount the wide body, um, stuff like that. So that's what that's what I'm gonna do in the uh, um, in this build series. Is kind of go through that stuff and uh, and just show it from basically this point that it's at now to uh, to its finish point. And I hope it doesn't take too long because I really, really want to drive it. But uh, that's where I'm going to close out the video. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow along because we are going to be doing this build and I think it's going to be super cool. Bye.